All right, guys, welcome to episode 167 of Dope Talk TV is yours truly low key. Got John here with me and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go over to Patreon, check us out over there. And yeah, man, get yourself a little merch if you haven't done so already. But we're back with another one. And uh, yeah, man, it's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. Got my pre-workout, you know what I mean? Ready for the day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, man. Round of applause to the Easter people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people that celebrate, we celebrate. I'm going over to, you know what I'm saying? Spend the day with the fam a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this motherfucker got to drive like fucking... Gotta Miami drive like three shit. hours, bro. It's yeah, the fucking trashest thing ever. But hey, bro, it is what it is. <laughs> I want to see my dukes. You get stuck out in the woods and shit. You know, I don't care monkeys. about the rest of the family. I just want to see my... All right, <laughs> that's like, it. They got monkeys in the woods. You they know do, I mean? bro. Rich oh, people fuck everything up, bro. <laughs> yeah. They did that shit in Puerto Rico. I Rich didn't niggas it. brought iguana. Iguanas aren't from there. Yeah, now they're everywhere. You fucking walking down the street, that shit falls from a tree, hit you in the fucking head. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't believe that shit till we went out there, and it was so majestic, bro. I fucking looked out. We went out to like some springs and shit near his mom's and whatever, and it was fucking dope. Nah, that shit was crazy, dope. There was manatees swimming under us. Fucking alligators right there. Yeah, monkeys in the tree. I felt like I was in Jumanji. Our, our boy, our boy jumped off the canoe and fucking started <laughs> swimming, like just looking at the manatee, trying to communicate. Looking. I think it just, took like twenty pictures. Like, when he jumped in the water with that camera, I was like, "Oh no, this nigga's a professional." Yeah, he said, "I'm going to the manatee." Why does it? Fuck out of here. Why doesn't he work for like Geographic? You know what I'm saying? I've told Soy that so many times, bro. He could if he wanted to. I think he's just a big old fucking clitoris throbbing. Nah. Clitoris. I don't know, man. You know those guys that are like super talented and they just have like the worst work ethic. It's like, why? It's like, yeah, what the bro. fuck? I fall victim to that shit. There's certain shit that people be like, oh, bro, if you just blah, blah. I'm like, nigga, you do it then. No, nah, like, but nigga, like, I like, you go, we, you go nah, do but it, we still, nigga. we still try. There's some people that just don't do it at all. They're like, you know what? I'm good. Yeah, there's niggas that are like, bro, I have no, I'm, I don't mind at all just working at like a 7 Eleven and retiring from there. And I'm like, bro. And, make, and just making music. If that's what you want to do, bro, that is great for you. If you like it, I love it. The, up. the realest shit I ever heard, bro, from Michael Jackson was they were like, yo, like, how'd you write Billie Jean? And he's like, man, I was riding down, cruising by myself. And. It, I just started making this beat. He started going off, and then the guys, like, the guys, like, the guys, like, how do you fucking do it though? He's like, how? He's like, how? He's like, honestly, man, it was just from above, man. He's like, you Fair know, action. when you write music, you know, you just don't write the music. Let the music write to you. Yeah, bro, the beat is and, everything, man. The melody, like, like, that's why I tell people all the time, like, bro. The beats I hop on are beats that's, that speak to me. It's that same shit. It's like, bro, like, I fuck with this beat so hard, I have to say something on it. And it just comes to you. Yeah. Because when you fuck with the beat, it's you, just you like, can't it just explain comes, it. bro. You can't explain it. It comes, but it's like... It comes from above, from the music gods. It comes from, from the Zeus. music gods. It, Visca it starts Bargains. raining from the music clouds. From the loud Visca. you get sprinkled. <laughs> the loud Visca Bargains. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, nah, nah, that's crazy bro. though. But yeah, nah, but listen, man, we're gonna go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, something that I've noticed, bro. Something that I went through myself, and something that I've seen, and people that I know is that a lot of people want to be grown as fuck when they turn eighteen. And sad shit is, is you're not much different from a week ago when you were seventeen, nigga. You still don't know shit. You still never been through shit. Most of the times, you know, there's exceptions. There's kids that grow up faster than others, but for the most part. Like, nigga, you still, you you haven't really, you're not an adult just because you're 18 and you could go fucking into a club now. I used to do that. You know I, I used to be like, mom, I'm 18. I do whatever. Mom, I'm 18. Me too. I do what I want. Me too. Everybody was there. But I then buy you and you're like, nigga, move out. That's what I mean. It's like, you think you're that until you're 18 and you move out into the real world and you're like, holy shit. Most kids aren't ready to move out at 18, bro. Nah, that's be, why I look at parents. A, like I look at parents a certain way when they're like, "Oh, at eighteen, my kid got to get the fuck out." Yeah, it's like what? Like why would you want to, your kid to fail like that? Like if you, if you, if he's not set up like that or she's not set up like that, like you got to give them time to grow, bro. Like that's where most of our parents fucked up at. They left the house early. They had to figure it out, and it took them twenty years longer to do something than they should have because yeah. they didn't. They were just trying to figure it out on their own. If I can go back to 21 again, I would. Because honestly, like, and it wasn't even that long ago. 
You know what I mean? But like you look back of like the time wasted and, and it's not really time wasted. We, we, you know, we went over that, you know, if you're having fun and you, and you had some yeah. great experiences. It's not wasted time. It's, it's just not really, learning it's, experiences. Yeah. You know, and I wish I would have learned, I would have took the stuff that I learned at 26 and you, and applied it at 2018. You know what I mean? Around that age. Cause like you learn so much, man. And you realize like, yo, you really should start saving money at like 18 years old. You should really start putting that funds away. Because if yeah, I would have been bro. doing that by 18 years old, bro, by 30, bro, I would have had at least 50 racks. Bro, and your mentality is so different. Like, at 18, I was like, oh, I'm only saving this much every check. Like, I might as well just spend it. I ain't nothing. Exactly. That's what you think. Yeah. But it's like, no, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you keep adding 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus at the up. end of the year. Nigga, you might have a couple thousand just fucking sitting there, bro. You might have a couple, you know, extra 500, 600. Now you could play whatever. Like, it's different, bro. Like. But I just wanted to bring that up, bro, because I see that shit in today's generation and, like, like people move out and get depressed and this and that. And it's like, bro, the, the real world is the real world, and that shit sucks, bro. Yeah. That shit fucking sucks. My aunt, my great aunt, you know, rest in peace, my, my titi, she, uh, she would always pick up pennies. My mom even, this is weird, this is weird stories connecting. Yesterday, my mom was like, you know, every time I see a penny on the floor, I pick it up. Mm-hmm. Because it reminds me of her because, like, she would always pick up pennies on the floor. And one time I asked her, I was like, Grandma, I mean, Titi, it's only it's only, a, only a penny. She's just like, yeah, but it's one penny. But when you keep picking them up and you add them up, it adds up. It does, bro. All my, bro, listen, man. And I was Don't like. Don't be a fucking idiot and just not save money because it's like, oh, it's only $10. Well, I'll save it. Yeah. And the next time you look, you're like, oh, I have Dirty now instead of fucking nothing. <laughs> and <laughs> you I know what I'm saying? I, like, yeah, and I remember making my first couple a nice check, you know? I had a nice check and I went shopping one time and I was with my boy and I remember they're like, You want your change back? I was like, Nah. And I remember I did that. I remember I did that and my boy was just like, Yo, stay humble, bro. That shit adds up. Nah, and it fact. does. And it does. That's I, a fact. That jar that I have, I always throw in change in there. And I always add that shit up. By the end of the year, bro, I got like an extra 150 bucks sometimes. I'm like, Facts, you know what? Bro. Just from Facts. just from saving your change. And I didn't realize that till later on, man. And it's important. So save your fucking change, people. Yeah, save your change. Save your money, bro. Save and your if money. you're 18 and you're thinking about moving out, if you don't have a real good job, bro, like, if you don't have a real good job, bro, don't oh. fuck around and, and mess up and just... Go out there without a plan, bro. I mean, it builds character too, but at the same time, it's like be a little smart and make a plan before you just jump out. Yeah, and it's okay to spend your money when you're young because you can get it back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you still but got when, time. When bro. you when you start spending your money when you're old, it's a different story. You know, I feel like you have you have free range to be a complete fucking idiot until the age of 25. That's how I feel. Yeah. So the age of 25, you're still high school college mentality. High school mentality is I feel your, like kid, your fucking kid. Your responsibility in college, change. Yeah, like your college. In, in college, you most people, let's be honest, they're worried about the fret and parties and bitches and this and that or whatever. Like, they're not worried about school like that. They might get through it and pass their classes, but that, that's not the main focus a lot of the times. And it's like, I don't know, bro. By the age of 25 to the age of 30, I feel like you should really start establishing, like, who you are, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? And and then work for it in your 30s so you can set, be set in your 40s. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel about that. But Yeah, they say the 30s are like the, the 20s, but like with more money and a little bit more maturity. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Bro. Your, your money got some maturity to it. You People know what say I mean? the best time in your life is your 20s and it's bullshit. Your 20s is ass. You're figuring out the world. You're stumbling and mumbling all over the place, not knowing what the fuck you're doing. Some people real. get lucky. Yeah, some people get lucky and they, you know, they they start balling off the rib. But yeah. most of the time, bro, most of us have to work into our 40s until we get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like in your 40s, you set yourself up. Your 40s is going to be the best time of your life, bro. I'm telling you. You're more comfortable. You might have your house paid off already if you did it right. You might have your all your cars paid off. You're chilling. You're making great money now. You have money in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different. It's a different life. It's a, like you, it's not as much stress financially if you set yourself up right. But this is all hypothetical because it's all up to you to set yourself up right. You know what I mean? But yeah, pay attention, guys, because we we dropping gems right now, especially yeah, facts, the youngins. Bro. Yeah, like, like we got a couple young people that watches. Yeah, you know pay I mean? attention, man, and, and I'm telling you from experience, bro. I, I tried moving out at 18, 19, bro. That shit was trash. 
Yeah, I seen him broke go through as it. fuck. I, broke, while, broke. while me and mom, I'm while me about just chilling. dusty nigga, bro, dusty moved, broke. No food in the fridge. Bro. Nah, dead ass, bro. No food in the fridge for two days at a time. Like I moved in with him for three months, and I said, you know what, bro. This guy's so lucky that I'm a real friend because I didn't make him sign that and I didn't do nothing. I just popped I could have told that nigga, fuck you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to stay here till the end of the Six year nigga, and I need my fucking money. Yeah. I could have. But uh, I was like, you know what, bro? I know you're not ready because I'm not ready. Go home, bro. Yeah. I told him straight up at work. We were at work. I was like, bro, if you want to go home, don't feel like you need to stay here because of me, nigga, because yeah. I'm going to figure this shit out regardless. Go I, home. I did some things. I did some landscaping work. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I remember that day, bro. Like it was yesterday, bro. Bro. That tree was huge. We were fucking youngins, bro. <laughs> we were youngins, man. And that's the thing about it, bro. Like, that's the next topic I want to get into, bro. I need some motherfucking glasses, bro. I need some glasses. And I knew the day would come, but I'm like, damn, the day's here now. Like, I used to think about that shit when I was, like, 18. I'm like, my mom wears glasses. My dad wears glasses. I know I'm going to need them at some point. You know Oof. what I'm saying? And then now, when it starts getting dark, your boy can't see a fucking sign. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, bro. Damn, I don't. I'm not there yet, but I, maybe Shit, one day. Man. Maybe it's one fuck, day. Maybe not. It's whatever. So when y'all see me with some glasses, fuck off. Yeah. All right, you can suck a fucking fat one. I ain't getting no contacts. That's just fucking <laughs> trash. Shit gets stuck in your eye. You gotta get some surgery to I, remove it now. Now I know a lot of people that look just. They look weird without glasses. They've been with glasses for like as long as I knew them. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Type of thing. And then like when they take them off, it's like. They look so weird to me. Yeah, because right? you're used to seeing them like that. They just look so weird to me. Like, I but feel like they're used to it, bro. It's like when you first went bald, like nobody was used to it. Yeah. And everybody, it was a shock. But then after a while, it's like, now I can't see you with hair. It's like you start, grow, you grow your hair. I'm going to be like, bro, what are you doing? No, nah, it's not that. Yeah, no, nah, it's a lot of people are like, yo, I don't remember what you look like with hair. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, what? Nah, y- y'all just don't know my boy long enough. I remember when my dog had the fresh, the fresh edge up, nigga. He yeah. was a little, you know what I'm saying? He was a little sophomore yeah. nigga with the fresh edge. Joke. Yeah, I had I had a you nice little, little hairline, and then it started fucking up. You know what hey, I mean? Bro. I started going bald like a motherfucker. <laughs> started looking like an egg. You know what I mean? A werewolf. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I salute. Round of applause to my dog, bro. He was one of the first niggas I know that had the balls, the cojones to say, you know what, bro? I know Young. I'm only 21. But I'm going full bald, bro. Yeah, I just <laughs> did it, bro. Nah, you know, bro. I, I mean, it was Justin and it was it was Chris. You know, shout out to Chris, man. He's a, he's a good barber, bro, and he definitely gave me the balls. He like passed me the balls. I mean, you know, you gotta think about it, bro. He was looking he, out for himself too, because he's like, nigga. I- what do you want me to do with this? Yeah. <laughs> like, not, do you want me to shape this shit up? Like, nigga, you paying like fucking fifty dollars a cut, bro? For what? <laughs> For what? Because I used to tip him, bro. I used to tip him, yeah, bro. And he used to, he used to do, I used to do a little Beijing with a little line and shit on my forehead. Oh, nah. But it looked good for a little bit until I started like, I don't know. It just started getting bad. And I was just like, bro, I started looking like Tory Lanez, bro. You ever seen that with the patch and shit? Mm-hmm. I started looking like LeBron James. And I was just like, nah, I can't do this no more. I'm going to just go bald. And yeah, that was listen. the best Decision I ever did I think my fucking father I started getting laid Like I think I got laid that night I think I got laid that night I'm not even playing with you That shit don't even matter bro That shit don't even matter But nah I definitely I think my father And my father's father All right, For the fucking hairline I got Cause this bitch ain't going nowhere Until I'm about 70 Nah I don't think you're ever Gonna lose hair bro Listen I'm not gonna be bald But I'm gonna lose my hairline Nah, nah, bro. I don't It'll think so. happen, nigga. It'll happen. And I'm okay with it. Nah. You know why? Because I still let my he fucking must have nuts some, hang. He must have some right? uncles and shit that have a fucked up hairline then. My uncle's fucking bald. Oh, damn. What are you talking about? Damn. But nah, bro. It just. Your dad listen, ain't man. bald, though. Nah, but his hairline's receding. Like, it's not the same hairline he fucking had, nigga. That shit's up. It's back there now. Wow. Like, nigga, it, with age, it, it comes with it, bro. It comes. I hope to get that old, bro. I, I hope to get there. Nah, but you notice, like, almost every black male, when they reach a certain age, they go bald most of the time. You ever, you, you notice that? Like, bald. I want to say, nah. A lot of them are, though. I want to say that. I've seen a lot of older dudes with gray fucking hair. Like, a lot of older black dudes with gray hair, too. Like, yeah, I've seen I that. I want to say that. I've seen that. But, like, most of my dogs that are, like, older now, like I'm talking about like they could be my grandpa. Like they're like my homies and shit. They're bald. They reach a certain age and they're like, you know, I'm gonna just go bald. Yeah, facts. I mean, you choose that because after a while it's just like, bro, it's, what am I maintaining? Like it's the same thing you just said. It's like, well, you're getting fifty dollars a haircut for what? Yeah. And they just shave some, that shit off. Some of my homies need to fucking let go. 
Hey, bro. Because they're getting there. First of all, my little brother. Live your fucking I'm gonna life. I'm going to call you hey, out. Kev, Kev. Justin, you're getting there. Nah, you know what, though? I Ernesto, think Kev you might... fucking, you did, but you, you got the balls to do it, but you just don't show your fucking Kev head. Kev might be fucked, bro, because yeah. I don't think he has the head to be bald. I love you, Kev. You're Kevin, my dog, but damn, I don't think he has the head to be bald. Damn. Kevin got the flat head, though. You know what I mean? I got a round head. I have like a bowling ball head. But he has a fucking like a like somebody <laughs> slapped the shit out of him in the back with a pan with a frying pan, bro. Hit him so hard, bro. Like the cartoons, and yeah. Shit. Like pow, bam, boom, pow. Yeah, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. But you know, man, that sucks, bro. That like I'm blessed, bro. At the end of the day, I'm blessed. I got I got I got a decent head, bro. Because some people got a lump, bro. We keep talking about this, bro. But it's a, I'm gonna call you lumpies, bro. Lumpy motherfuckers. You ever seen uh, I'm Legend? Yeah The motherfuckers look yeah, rough yeah. If I shave my beard I'll look like that <laughs> Be crawling up All together like That nigga is straight Voldemort for sure He shaves his beard And takes a dab It's over <laughs> The next Harry Potter Star my dog a, <laughs> Takes a dab bro he If I shave a- my face I got two beards bro And a joint Forget about it bro I'm coming back I look retarded bro I look like I fucking Got punched in the eye oh, It looks pretty bad bro I don't know what it is bro But I It used to be worse When I was younger bro I used to be like yeah, yeah it used to bro, be worse. I used to get fucked up as a kid. Oh, as I got older, you know what it was? I just started learning my limits. Like once I started feeling a certain way, I stopped drinking. You know what I'm saying? I would just keep smoking. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. You ever But when uh, I was young, nigga, I used to get fucked. You ever look, had fuck, like look like a goddamn cartoon character. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. You ever had a fucking uh you ever got sick and like got drunk? Like you ever had like the flu or some shit or like a cold, like a minor cold and just got drunk because it was like your boy's birthday or some shit and you just said, fuck it. This fucking guy. Yeah, because I have. Yo, listen. Because I have. Listen. I don't know anybody (laughs) else has done that. This guy came through and he was fucking (laughs) dead, bro. (laughs) Like to the point where I was like, nigga, go home. <laughs> bro, like half of my bro, no, we going. I was like, nigga. Go home. Like, yeah. If you want to go home, you could go home. You're like, no, bro. No, nah, it was like half of my soul was missing, bro. Nah, like, I was this here. I went to the party, bro, and that nigga looked like a goddamn ER patient. Nah, sitting for Sitting at that picnic table. Nigga was like, <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, I was like sniffing and shit, like, <laughs> snuffles, and, and my throat was dry as fuck. I was fucking sneezing. I was like, I couldn't breathe. I was just so messed bro. up, bro. And I was taking shots, trying to clear this shit up, bro. By the end of the night, bro, I was like, uh, I'm done. Yeah, I had my mom. The fuck out. I remember my mom fucking went and she asked, and she was just like, Yo, like, are you are you sure? You, you sure you want to go? You look fucked nah, up. You look, you you looked fucked. And up. I was just like, You looked nah. fucked like, up. No, nah, I'm good. And I was I, I don't get sick like that, but when I do, it's a fucking go. Like it's a rap. Like when I get sick, it hits me hard, boy. Like Yeah, it's the same shit with me. Like I don't get sick like that. And that shit sucks. I got I got a decent immune system, but when that shit hits me, bro, I'm in bed. Yeah. I don't wanna hear shit. And that's the thing too, man. Like people that don't have a, like a good immune system, that shit sucks, man. Like anything yeah, can really affect bad. you. Like you could I die from like you. the flu. You could die from like anything. Bro, there's people that is just like God damn, you're sickly, bro. It's like yeah. you, you're allergic to everything. Or like, like you, you, you touch a fucking wall and your skin starts breaking out in hives. It's like what the fuck? Like, yeah. Like I feel bad for people like that, bro. Because you got to live your life a certain way, bro. It's fuck. Yeah, like my boy, my boy had the COVID, and then he ended up getting sick like again, and it wasn't COVID. I'm just like, damn, bro. You don't eat vegetables. You don't eat nothing. <laughs> He's just like, no, I, I drink the juice. The vegetables and yeah, the juice, yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, shit. that, yeah, that helps, but it ain't gonna help." To, uh, I mean, Listen, I mean, that helps a little bit, but I don't think that shit real vegetables, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I think that's that just giving you regular ass <laughs> fucking strawberry <laughs> juice. No, I don't even know, so bro. Fuck you. Nah, it's like the fucking V eight shit where they put vegetables in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it's real, but like, I don't think I don't it's the know, same man. thing, bro. I don't know. Bro. I don't Who think that's the same knows, shit, man. We ain't nutritionists, but if you are, go down in the comments and let us yeah, know. Yeah, I ain't no doctor. Do real but vegetables, <laughs> fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Make more of a difference. Yeah, I think so. You tell me, bro. You guys tell me. Fucking, I think, <laughs> I think like asparagus and 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 cabbage and all this shit is fucking meant to be eaten normal. Mm. I don't think you should be putting it into a juice. For real, unless you have a juicer. 
Yeah, I, I mean, want, I, w- I wouldn't mind getting one of those motherfuckers. I want to get, yeah, I want to get a few, a few different things to start making different shit. Like you put like fucking whole bunch of shit in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like some spinach. But some that's fucking, what they do. So that, that's literally what the fuck V eight is, bro. I don't, I don't know these big companies, man. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck they put it in that shit. I'd rather get my own juicer. Man, listen, you don't know what they injected into your tomato. For we, I mean, yeah, like I said. <laughs> you don't know how they're growing our produce, bro. For real, real talk. I want to go to the farms, bro. I want to see how they grow our shit. Where we getting it from? Because Walmart be always having shit. Now listen, bitch. Your tomatoes are sitting there for three weeks and they look <laughs> red the whole time. That's bullshit. Nah, that there, there's something in there. Nah, let's nah. be real. You notice when you buy organic fruit, it dies quick. I mean, like it gets right. raw and quick. Yeah, that's what quick, I mean. Yeah, like, exactly. Fast. Like if you don't use it in the next day, day or that two. shit's fucking gone. Like, yeah, it, yeah. You grab a fucking tomato. From Walmart, and you leave it in your fridge and see how long it stays nice, plump, and red. Bro, I, I bought those. This is gonna be the bro. For like I six bought months. the regular potato, and I haven't ate them. I had, I have like, I bought like eight of those bitches. Mm-hmm. I went to save a lot, like maybe a month ago, and them bitches still good. Bro, a potato. Listen, man, there's something that's there's some I mean, shit that's just like it's bro. A potato though, it's a potato. It's not like it, it's listen though, but this shit's it's all injected. Even the fucking vegetables and stuff. It's all like they inject it with shit to. Prolong it and make it look greener, nicer. Or to grow faster. Yeah, or make it grow faster and shit. So it all, it, bro, you don't know what the fuck you're eating, regardless of what the fuck you're eating. You're eating some fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, you it's all fucked, bro. Nah, bro, that's some organic. Yeah, right. No, that shit ain't bro. organic, bro. That bitch dancing at night. That bitch doing some crazy shit. Talking, I don't know, bro. Nah, listen. You know what, bitch is doing some crazy shit. That's a great fucking segue. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta go back to this Jada shit, bro. Will, you gotta leave that ungrateful hoe, bro. Yeah, apparently, you they're know getting what the divorced. fuck she said? They're getting divorced. She's the filing divorce. Did you Not hear him. what she said? She said, nigga, I never wanted to marry you. <laughs> Bitch, if you wouldn't have been the fuck about my house by that night, I don't know what would have got you. I really out. don't think, like, I think he's a fucking I simp, bro. Just, At this I point, like, you're I, just a I, simp I think ass this nigga. is just a reality TV show. And it's nah, just like like, nah. they, like these motherfuckers are just I don't know how dumb Will is or to put up with I don't I don't know how dumb this guy is to be I don't know I can't He's even speak simp, I can't bro. even speak He's I'm just a, I'm, this is the I'm prime example in, of a simp it's just that people never looked at him like that go oh he's Will Smith but nigga even billionaires are simp's this is a simp like you just let her do whatever you let her talk to you any kind of way you let her fucking Talk about how she was so in love with somebody else and how she still thinks about him and she's over here fucking this nigga and you're having conversations about it with her on her show. Like, if you're th- not a simp, I don't know what the fuck a simp is. No, nah, like, you're, just, bro, you're would, a fucking cuck, bro. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be going public about it. Like, I just, again... So nah, they're too famous for it not to go public, bro, but... Like, to, to, to talk about that, though, to really sit down just like you and me right now and, and have my, my girl fucking sit on a show and talk about our marriage. Like this is what I that's mean, crazy. bro. A real man would never. I would never do I would that. never. I don't give a fuck what your that's show none of, ratings are That's none of your business. Like, it's like none of your. If I'm having a conversation with my wife and a therapist. Facts. That, Why this, does this, three million this, people have to tune in? I don't get it. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't I'm, get it. No, that's what I'm trying to say. It's either you're a simp or you're just doing this for the clout. Come on. You don't need clout, nigga. You're Will Smith. Exactly. She needs clout. Exactly. So you're simping for yeah. her. Yeah. This is what I mean. Yeah. Like, you're simping for her to get her views on her show. Yeah. You're sitting there letting her degrade you as a fucking man and let her tell you how your sex game is fucking whack, how she's over here fucking other niggas, all this other shit. She's telling you to your face for her to get show views on her shit. Yeah. You're simping, bro. Hey man, like I would like at, at some point, bro. But the bigger the bigger thing was that some women are just ungrateful no matter what you do. Because people want to argue. I got into a little debate with my homegirl, and she was telling me like, "Oh, Jada Pickett was Jada Pickett before she got with Will Smith." I'm like, "Yeah, but that was in the '90s. What the fuck has she does done since then? She's been in like one one or two movies, and they weren't like she was never the main character. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like." Let's be real, bro. She wouldn't have the lifestyle or the abundance of money that she has right now if she wouldn't have been with Will Smith. Yeah. She might be a good actor. She might be in, in Hollywood still. But mm. you ain't going to be worth $100 million. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, no, no, no. It's not. You're not going to have no star on the motherfucking Hollywood. I that's what I mean. It's yeah. just like there's the, certain things I that, think Will Smith does have a star, does he? I don't know. That's a they good should, question. If he, they, if he does, they should take it away for this shit. <clears throat> 
Not even for the Chris Rock shit, just for being a bitch, bro. Like, for real, like, if that was my boy, I would tell him to his face, like, bro, you're being the biggest bitch I've ever seen in I my can't fucking ima- life. No, I couldn't imagine it, bro, no. being his friend. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, if you if you did some shit like that and I seen it on TV and you call me and you're like, bro, if I was wrong, I'm going to be like, bitch. <laughs> You're so wrong, bro. I don't even want to like talk to you right now. I don't want to talk to you. Get on my fucking yeah. phone. I don't know. Hey, until you until, until I see you a apologize. video of you kicking her out your house, nigga. Yeah, kicking out your house and apologizing, <laughs> bro. I don't want to talk to you, bro, right now, bro, because I'm embarrassed to be your friend right now, bro. I don't even want to see you in public with you. Bro, I don't want to nah, do, it. bro. You gotta fix this, bro. Yeah, yeah, you gotta fix this, bro. That's like me hanging out with six nine, bro. Nah, nah, for real. Bro. And apparently, six nine is coming back. You seen that shit, bro? I can't, I can't believe this shit, bro. And people were like, yo, he's an asshole. You know what he did, bro? <laughs> this motherfucker's like, yo, it's just for the people that, you know, that I'm broke, bro. He had his boy hold the camera and he fucking pulled out like 2.5 million in cash. And I was just like, listen, man. I was like, bro, that goes to show you, like, he's insecure, bro. Everybody's saying you're broke. If you let, man, even, let like, everybody think, let everybody think I'm broke, bro. I will, I will, I love that shit. Not nah, facts. I don't need nah, you. I Why am, am I going to show 2.5 million for what? I'm broke. Bro, I would never show money, bro. People that show money are so clownish to me, nah, bro. Nah, but it's just like... So clownish. That's what people want to see, bro. It's not even it, a word. It, it's what people want to see. It's what these kids are... are they tune into. It's what they want to see, bro. And that's where a lot of people lose their integrity. Like, for views and for likes and for... Just to go viral. Because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to go viral to promote his new shit. Again. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. So, of course, let me pull out the fucking most expensive car with 2.5 million cash. All this jewelry on to promote my next shit coming up. Because that's what these kids want to see. They want to see the jewelry, the cars, the money, the bitches. Like, that's what, they, that's what they're infatuated with. Yeah. So, you show them that. Now, they're looking at you. Now, you can be like, hey, go listen to this song. Yep. And it might be a trash fucking song, but just the fact that he got a hundred thousand people to go watch it the first day, he just made back, yeah, or whatever the fuck he just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, I'm not like, gonna lie, like it's all marketing, bro. He's a great artist. He's not a great artist. I feel like he's a good artist, and I feel like his marketing is fucking suit. Su- his marketing is next level. Yeah, if if six nine would have shut the That's fuck true. up as a rapper and just been a been a marketing agent. I think he'd be three, four, three or four times worth what he's now, like. But just, the, just the, just the fact that like how he started and all this shit, it's like he was nothing before. He was he was literally a video guy that did like video shoots for people. That's how he was known by I these think people. It was a fucking barista. Yeah. And I think he worked at a little restaurant. He just did little videos for people around the city. He didn't have no tattoos. He didn't have long hair. He didn't have nothing. He was a yeah. regular looking kid, bro. Yeah. And that's why it's like if y'all youngins don't understand the move. This is the move. The gang saw a prophet. They said, hey, he's not a gang member, but his marketing and his music is going to get us. It's going to get us the fuck out of here. Yeah. So let's link with him. It was a mutually beneficial thing. Yeah. He was never gang gang, bro. He didn't no. grow up shooting with these niggas like shoddy and these niggas really like been to prison for murders and shit before him. Yeah. Like they've been living this life. Yeah. He's not. He wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like. Take it, take it as a lesson. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a gang, bro, don't let nobody in for a profit. Yeah. Because it'll fuck it, up your whole gang, bro. Yeah. Was the money worth it? Everybody doing life now? Yeah. 50 niggas going to prison? You is see it one, worth it? That's like, uh, you're, you're basically trying to get into the same situation with Tupac and Suge type of shit. Because Suge was a blood. Suge was like one of like the top dudes. Like mm-hmm. he was like one of those mobsters type of deal. You know yeah. what I mean? He had the power. He had the protection. And nah, yeah, but don't uh, don't like, ever disrespect Tupac and compare him to yeah, Six Nine again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no totally, cap. Yeah, fuck no the cap. Six Nine. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just no. trying to say that Shug and, and uh, no, nah, but there are similarities. Yeah, like, you know you're what right, I mean? Like they right. had the power of the gang type of shit. Like that's what no, I'm trying you, to like. You're right in the sense compare. that that Tupac was in a gang man. He gang wasn't member, a gamer. Yeah, but he would associate with them. He would associate, would fight with them, all that shit. But that's yeah. what got him murdered. Yeah. That's literally what got him murdered because he got into some shit and put hands and feet on a person that was a real gang banger. Like, he was a real gang banger, bro. He was shooting niggas, catching bodies, all types of shit. You're not in this, bro. So now I have to prove, I have to do something to you because you're not part of this lifestyle. Yeah. So you doing that to me makes me look like more of a bitch nigga Mm -hmm. because I let a nigga that's a square, not a gang member, do it to me. Yeah. Now I got to do it to you. Yeah. And that's what happened, bro. That's why it's like, just mind your fucking business, bro. We're done. Mind your business. 
But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to fucking Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch. And overall, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank <laughs> you.